Look at you, my beauties. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. But you're the best. This is the one we've all been waiting for, folks. You know, you play less. One of the two brothers who haven't spoken to one another for 40 years, and you live in this incredibly isolated area and don't see people. How did you attune yourself to, to be him, to be in that space? Oh, I knew a lot of people like that. Really? My uncle Albie it was, lived on a station all his life and he was a very taciturn individual, not as aggressive as, as Les, but you know, my sister always said, you, you've made a career out of playing your uncles. Yeah. Because yes. my fa my I, I sort of grew up in the city, but all my family came from central Queensland and they were all sort of all my father's brothers were all horsemen and stockmen and wow. You know. And on my mother's side it was very Irish and and a bit more joie de vie. Okay. The Grimison brothers find themselves the last two standing yet again. And Les Grimison is the winner. Speaking of animals, are you a sheep fan now? I, I have, I, I came from central Queensland where it was all sheep and it was all merinos. Oh. And if you were mustering sheep, you'd, that one of them would fall over and you'd have to get you Ooh. off your horse, put it back on its feet and it would, it's perfectly, perfectly all right. But if you didn't do that, it would lay there and die. It's there. I had no time for merinos. So I really, I, I, I really identified with the with the uh, the, uh, the sheep that we had, which weren't merinos, and it became a sort of derogatory thing all through the film, and that was okay with me. Oh come on, Cole, cheer up! What happened? You haven't spoken in forty years. In order to play this um, sort of passive aggressive negativity between the brothers, did you and Sam avoid one another? Or do you need to do that? No, no. <laughs> but but uh, Sam was very, um, he kept much to himself because he, he had an exhausting job. I mean, he would get in the car to be driven back to Albany, you know, it was about, a, and he'd be asleep five minutes after he got in the car because he had days where there was just him. If you think about all of the stuff that we filmed around the house, he was exhausted. So he, he, he wasn't about to, to soldier on during the night or the evening after shoot. If you've got a theme in film, it's almost like people not communicating. I mean, my character was like that, sticking to himself and, and, and to get a conversation uh, you, with the, the beautiful Miranda Richardson trying to get a conversation out of out of Cole. Sam's character was like getting blood out of a stone, you know. So right, it, yeah. it, it's the wow. theme right through the movie. Why stop now? Liz is Ram. He's sick. I really liked the original Ram's Hooter, I guess it's called. Me too. Um, Lovely film. Lovely film, yes. Um, how does this differ? I was trying to think back, but I couldn't remember the details, but it seemed to be watching Rams that it, that it differed quite a bit. Well, we brought more of the, the country town in, into it, the, the different characters. I mean, and if you really think about it, all the men almost speak in shorthand. You know, you've looked, you've worked in just about every kind of medium uh, for a long time. And I'm wondering, you know, you've had such a career, which I imagine has been incredibly rewarding. And I've seen you so many times. What has been to your mind, the greatest gift of being an actor? It's just that uh, people seem to have connected with the characters I've played. It's so sort of rewarding to feel that people have reacted to you, you know, I could do without the the fame, I think when you first start acting, that you think, oh, it would be great to be famous. And then fame actually happens and it's not so great. Oh, my lovely girls. It smells like sheep. But you're so familiar. I've watched you for years and years and things. Um, 
and also I'm happy that uh, some of these streaming services that we have bring in a lot of Australian content. So that's very yeah, cool. yeah, yes. Well, yeah. It, it's just hit. Uh, it's been a, a absolutely abysmal year for releasing films, and we kept putting it back and putting it back. And it's a great pity that sort of more people haven't got to see it because I haven't seen a lot of film either. And uh, because of my age and, and my medical history, I've had to really lock myself up to a certain extent. So nice to speak to you, Michael. Thank you so much. And I'm Same going. To you, I think Anne. I'm going. To, I'm going to go as less on Halloween, and I'll get something and make it into a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you got in your house. You kept up. I had to. You what? We find those sheep. He is done. Love it.